Welcome everybody again uh, to a new lecture that, in which that we will uh, talk about the uh, some of the controversial issues uh, in dental radiography. That is the question which is always asked <coughs> about pregnancy and then dental uh, X-rays. Uh, uh, I hope by the uh, by the end of this uh, video presentation, call it what you like, uh, we will recognize the effects of X-rays uh, on the fetus, clarify the fears that are related to the uh, dental X-rays in particular, assure the dental staff about the safety of dental X-rays, and establish. Uh, uh, safe radiation hygiene measures. Uh, we will have this scenario is that case number one, a lady comes to your clinic, uh, she fell on an upper uh, central uh, tooth, central incisor. She tells you that she thinks that she's, she might be pregnant She's not sure, but there is a possibility. She is in severe pain, laceration of the upper lip. And then you need to check if the root of that tooth is broken. And is, you want to also check whether there is a piece of the tooth embedded in this lacerated lip. And you need x-ray. <coughs> and the patient refuses. So what will you do? How would you convince her? Another case that we often see is that a lady comes to your clinic, she feels severe pain from a lower tooth. She tells you uh, that uh, she is in the second trimester of pregnancy. On clinical examination, you will find a big carious cavity on the lower molar, and your treatment options are either extraction or endofilling. Either way, you need an x-ray to proceed, and the patient just refuses. Again, what would you tell her? What happens also sometimes that when you are at work, uh, one of your female staff, she informs you that she is pregnant, and this lady is in charge of doing the x-rays, and she tells you that she's afraid of doing the x-rays because of pregnancy. Then what will, uh, what will you do? <clears throat> Uh, before we proceed, uh, uh, we have to make sure that what the lady is telling us is, is, I mean, is she pregnant or not? By definition, physiologically speaking, generally speaking, amenorrhea in a regularly menstruating uh, woman should be considered because or caused by pregnancy unless proven otherwise. A woman of productive age is considered pregnant when the menstrual period is overdue or missed unless there is an information that precludes pregnancy like tubal ligation or hysterectomy. Uh, and every woman that enters a clinic sh in the, in the reprodukt reprodukt uh, reproductive age should be asked if she suspects or she is pregnant so that we won't we will verify pregnancy and then we will proceed in the uh, uh, what we will do. Now before we proceed into this, uh, we have to know that ionizing radiation actually doesn't come only from dental x-rays. There are so, there is a vast, um, a wide, very wide variety of of uh, uh, sources of radiation, those are either occurring naturally or they are man-made. Uh, at these, the percentages vary. Uh, the medical and the dental percentage or share of these is actually constitutes only 14% <coughs> out of the 100% of the total uh, uh, ionizing radiation that is a present. Now let us have an idea, a simple idea about the sources of radiation. Radiation comes either naturally from
from natural background radiation, and this comes from the cosmic rays, uh, from the Earth's atmosphere, from the gamma radiation, <coughs> from the rocks and soil in Earth's crust, Brazil and India are very uh, famous for this. Uh, radiation from the ingested radioisotopes as in certain foods, as we will proceed in the uh, upcoming slides, and radon gaseous uh, decay, uh, which is a product of uranium, uranium present naturally in the granite. So it is radiation naturally present that either comes from the outer space, <coughs> sun being the major source, or it, uh, it originates from the soil, or uh, it is ingested, or we, it is inhaled. So there are so many sources of... But actually, most of these are either gamma, mostly, and alpha, and beta particles. But gamma uh, is the uh, main source of ionizing radiation. Uh, the artificial background, that is the man-made uh, uh, radiation, fallout from the nuclear expo explosions, um, Chernobyl, for instance, in 1985, radioactive waste, of, uh, uh, which is discharged from the nuclear establishments. This is either bur buried down or uh, uh, thrown in the sea, again, deep in the, uh, uh, on the sea. Medical and the de de dental diagnostic uh, uh, radiation, uh, diagnostic, and uh, here diagnostic constitutes 14%, because we're not talking about the therapeutic. Therapeutic is something else, and the radiation from occupational exposure. This is what, what we face, actually, is that we work in the radiation field, dentists, uh, and we are exposed by and an, by, by, by the nature of our job, so uh, to the to the radiation. So you can see that the the, 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 the sources of radiation are <coughs> wide, and the medical and the dental diagnostic radiation actually there is part, uh, though it is small, but. The, the, the frequency of taking X-rays increases the the, pers, uh, the 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 weight of the uh, of the uh, medical and the dental uh, radiation. 